cried. And the sound bursts through two dimensions into a third. Up until then, the little boy atrophied within the ego of the man, had noticed that it moved and was fascinated and confused. I can make sense of this. Man determined. Heartbeats and the rush of adrenaline was owed to proof and purpose of life as he made his stick align with what he saw and felt the resistance of its trigger. As it collapsed, he was the cause of its gravity. His piece decomposed and on to the next. On the other side, the nightfall was her phoenix sunrise. No thing was as colossal as a soaring energy and focused like sunlight through the flesh of an eyelid. Like the rainbow in a prism's cradle, a release by a beautifully hidden principle. She had been flying a while before she was aware of moving and then of being shadowed by a companion. He greeted her and asked her where she was going. When she could give no answer, he slapped her and ran away laughing. pain was intense and sent her to sleep. There was a tree and it had wrapped its roots around her neck and buried her in a shallow grave. When she awoke, the fields were silent and she had learnt English, but she had yet to finish her story before it all made sense. Once upon a time, a molten rock forged a new mountain and she could see above the dust clouds into the blue. 